video, I'm going to try to recreate this candle holder. Um, I thought, wow, that is so pretty, and I bet it would look amazing at night, and it does. So I'm going to use all materials from the Dollar Tree and try to make something pretty similar to this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started now. Hi, guys, and welcome to Creative Living. My name is Miranda, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this lovely candle holder. Uh, I'm going off of your response from the last candle holder that I made, so I want to say thank you so much for giving me feedback on that one. It brought this creation to you, and I used materials from the Dollar Tree and a design that I've seen from one of the designer websites. So let's jump right into the video and show you how it's made. I have three picture frames, and they're all 8 by 10s and I picked the biggest ones out that they had, and these actually have like a mat on the inside, and they're bigger than the other ones that are in the Dollar Tree. So you wanna save one of those mats because we're gonna use that for the mirror. After you've taken out the original picture that's in it, you have the glass down first, the mat, and then the eight by 10 mirror and then I'm just going to glue the corners to make sure that that holds really well and put the back back on it. So with the other two picture frames I'm just going to take some hot glue and go around the inside rim of it and put the glass in there just to reassure that it doesn't shake. I'm just taking the mirror uh, frame and the glass frame and seeing how they line up with the square mirrors going up the side and on the top and with this size frame the square mirrors fit perfectly so I started using E6000 uh, to glue the mirrors on top of the picture frames but it didn't really stick good so I went with some hot glue and I glued one mirror on one side and another mirror on the other side. I need four mirrors total, two on each side of the picture frame. And I'm gonna glue those on the side of the frame, but I'm gonna use this silver poster board material that I got out of the office section of the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut that out the size of each mirror, and I'm gonna glue this to the back of it uh, so you can't see the back of the mirror from the inside of the glass box. After this, then I kind of just turn it on its side to start gluing the square mirrors to the picture frame. I found it was a lot easier. And also just to give it a little more extra shine, I'm just gonna take some uh, diamond wrap and I'm gonna glue a couple of rows of it on the inside. <laughs> For this last part, uh, this is something that's fairly new. It's called LED candles. And it's just got one little candle in it that changes colors and these gems. I put the candle to the side and I dumped the little crystal gems all over the glass and just started hot gluing them. Now I'm very careful just to put a small, very small drop of glue on each one and again, I'm using Gorilla Hot Glue. I'm actually gluing these gems to is that third glass picture frame that we had earlier in the video. This is it, and it's 
face down. The picture frame is face down. So I'm gluing the gems actually to the back of the glass. And then we'll put that together here in just a moment and see what it looks like. Before I put uh, everything together, I want to take the glass that the gems are, are glued to and shake it really, really good and test it out and make sure that it's durable and the quality of what we just made is nice. And after a couple of little shakes there, I think it's going to do quite well. The purpose of this third frame is to hide where the beveled edges on the mirror or where the crack of the mirror in the frame are. So I'm just going to slide this up against it real nice to see how it looks. I like it. And because of the mirror in the center, I'm going to raise it up just a fuzz, just enough for it to cover that and look like one whole piece. And the gems are actually now between two pieces of glass with the mirror in the very very back after i glue that together the two frames together all i have to do is get three candles and candle holders to set on top of the mirrors and we're done that's it and i love how it came out Looking close at the two, the one on mine, and this one, if I would have had two more can, I mean, sorry, if I would have had two more mirrors, I, I needed four to do this, I would have, you know, like sandwiched them together, and I would have had the mirror on the inside instead of the diamond wrap, but I still love how this turned out. I just want to throw that out there, so if you decide that you want it to look more like the one in the picture than like this one, then you can obviously sandwich two mirrors back to back and have the mirror facing in and out. But I really love how this turned out. If you want to put some lights in it, uh, I have an, another light that I really do love, but um, we went with the little copper wire LED lights and just kind of ran them in there. And I'm loving the light that this puts out and the infinity look that you get when you kind of get up close to it. So anyway, that's it. It's that simple. And I hope that you enjoyed this project and this DIY. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe thank you so much i'll see you very soon in the next video y'all have a very wonderful and blessed day bye